Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to a new series of Rob Unscripted. I am Rob Cohey, Industry Solution Evangelist for Autodesk Manufacturing, and I'm amped to talk to you about the AutoCAD Inventor LT Suite. You won't believe some of the functionalities we put into an LT suite of products. That's right, AutoCAD LT and Inventor LT in the same box. Now, we put this functionality together because we believe that injecting 3D processes into your 2D drafting output will greatly increase your drafting productivity. Let's take a look at this first example and you'll see just why. Now first off, if you don't have any AutoCAD DWG laying around your uh, your design house here, you probably haven't been designing for too long. Everybody's got DWG. We've all got some old drawings in there that we'd, that we'd like to use rather than starting from scratch all the time. Now one of the nice things about Autodesk Inventor LT is my ability to open up that DWG file, literally copy that information, start a new sketch, and paste it into my new my new part file here. Now all of that information now is information that I can use to create the 3D model of this. So I can go ahead and move the design forward um, rather than simply editing uh, the lines, arcs, and circles that represent a part. I can go ahead and make a full digital prototype out of this. Now, as you can see, the dimensions even that were in that sketch came across as parametric dimensions that I could reference here in the inventor interface. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add the boss uh, to this particular component that wasn't there previous. And that's really the whole motivation behind me uh, migrating this design from 2D to 3D is I, I need to update its design. So I'll go ahead and sketch out a quick circle and I'll tell it to extrude to this face so that they're both flush and they'll always be flush. So if the dimension changes, uh, I know that the, my, my new boss here is, is going to maintain uh, its flush relationship with the outside of that. Now here, I'm going to go ahead and place a couple holes. Uh, and again, the hole diameter was something that was included in the original sketch. And I'm going to go ahead and reference that parameter that also came across from the, from the AutoCAD 2D data. So I've got a couple through holes and the last thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and remove material from this component and cut that solid out. So just like that I was able to copy the existing DWG information, bring it into a 3D inventor part and begin to build out this digital prototype. Now it's a pretty fancy 3D model if I do say so myself but uh, I know what you're thinking. Um, my guys don't work in 3D down in the shop. My, guy, my guys uh, work in 2D and they utilize Inventor LT. So how am I going to be able to communicate with them? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take the drafting, the drawing of the lines, arcs, and circles um, off the responsibility of the designer and into uh, the uh, the application. Things like automatic center lines. You saw it as able to create a front, top, uh, right, and isometric view literally in a matter of seconds by just telling the application to do the drafting for me. Here I'm going to steal the dimensions from the from the uh, from the model rather than placing each one of them individually. Now there's a couple here that are actually overlapping and they're and, and they're taking a look at uh, um, some some information I no longer need. So I'll just get rid of them. And rather than placing a dimension, I actually use the whole feature uh, to place those. Uh, and and I want to utilize the hole and thread um, feature note so that it brings across the uh, the appropriate hole and thread note information rather than just say uh, placing a dimension. You'll see here that I'm using the centerline bisector. Click two lines it draws the centerline in between them. Again what we're doing here is we're automating some of the typically manual and very tedious drafting responsibilities um, that's uh, you know that typically takes up a lot of time from your designers and your drafters. So here I'll just move some of these dimensions out of the way. Rather than grabbing all the dimensions, you'll, saw, you'll see that I have the ability to, to flip back and forth between grabbing them all or being a little bit more strategic about it. Now next I want to see how this drawing is going to react to a change. I'm going to go ahead and place a chamfer on this. And you'll notice that I'm typing in a decimal value. Well, what, what if you don't know the decimal value? If you don't know 0.375 is 3 eighths and you're looking over at your cheat sheet that's right next to your monitor that shows the decimal equivalent, just go ahead and type in the fractional value and we'll do the math for you. 
So as you can see, the drawing updated, no problems there. Uh, next, I want to go ahead and I want to annotate that uh, that chamfer that I that I placed in there, but I don't really have a good drawing view to do that just yet. So what I'm do is I'm just going to go ahead and sketch out a uh, uh, series of splines here, so that I can get a breakout view. As you can see, we got all types of views available to us here in Inventor: section, detail, draft. I'm utilizing the breakout. We've got slice, we got crop view, um, and here I'll just tell it, you know what, um, break out through the hole so that I can get a good uh, view into this chamfer and I can annotate it appropriately. I'll go ahead and place the chamfer note, maybe add a, a, a typical designation to it just by editing the text. Now this is a very comfortable, very familiar text editor that you're probably used to working with uh, from AutoCAD. So I'll go ahead and save it and then I'll send it down to the guys down the shop that are using AutoCAD LT and what do they do? File open. Nothing changes for them. The drawings look the same. I'm able to view, measure, print, included in my uh, my all my other AutoCAD based printing standards so that my production does not get affected by me transitioning this design from 2D to 3D.